means for this uh, 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time, uh, we are asked to uh, look at our fears. Uh, what are we afraid of and why? In this month of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we should see the embracing love of Jesus Christ, almost a smothering, motherly kind of love, uh, as a bulwark, a buffer against all those things that can make us afraid, fearful. We praise and bless and thank Almighty God that Jesus, our Savior, in a very, very special way, comes to us crucified and risen, entering into holy communion with us. He who makes us unafraid and strong and courageous. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the, in the highest, highest and, and on peace, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, you we, we bless you, you we adore, adore you, you, we glorify you. We, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, King O God, Almighty God, Almighty God and Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord God, Lamb, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant to us, Lord God, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive us of your guidance. You set, firm, you set us firm on the foundation of your love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, Lord, in your great love, answer me. <clears throat> Lord, in your great love, Answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my children, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme 
you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy, turn toward me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and whatever moves in them. Lord, in your great love, answer me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus, death came to all, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, Sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. For if, by the transgression of the one, the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So... Do not be afraid. You are worth much more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, 
I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our Gospel reading, Jesus is telling us it's got to be one way or the other. We either accept him or we reject him. We acknowledge him or we deny him, he said. In other words, we either follow him or we don't. It's a choice we have to make. We can choose between those two things. We can choose faith, faith in God, faith in Jesus, or not. And Jesus said, Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. So what does that mean? How do we do what Jesus said? How do we acknowledge him or deny him? Well, there are two ways. By our words and in our actions. In the things we say and in the things we do. But sometimes we can acknowledge Jesus in our mind and with our words, but deny him in our actions. Our words and our actions can be opposite of each other. We say one thing, but we do things contrary to what we say. But it can't be like that. We should acknowledge Jesus, in other words, show that we follow him, with our words and our actions, in the things we say and in the things we do. The two go together. By our baptism and confirmation, we are called to witness to Jesus. And not only as a community of believers on Sunday, but as individuals out there in the world the rest of the week. We have to live the faith we profess. It's as simple as that. Jesus has called us to be his disciples, his witnesses in the world, followers of his who courageously and openly put our faith into practice and who stand up for what we know is right. Okay, so maybe we come to church every Sunday. Maybe we even read the scriptures We admire Jesus and we respect his teachings, but to be a disciple of Jesus and to follow him and acknowledge him means walking in his footsteps by trying to be like him, by talking and acting like he did, by doing what he did and what he said, which means defend life. Share your blessings with those who are less fortunate. Be merciful and forgiving, loving and humble truthful and moral. A mistake many Christians make is to split their lives into two parts, a sacred part and a secular part. It's as if we fence off a nice little religious area of our life that we go in and out of. But that's not enough. We have to take our faith, we have to take Jesus into our places of work, into our schools, our homes, and everywhere. And of all those places, The most important is to take Jesus into our home and family. Because if we don't take him there, we probably won't take him anywhere. Then also in this gospel reading, Jesus tells us, and three times, don't be afraid. Fear no one, he said. And then he said, do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, Be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna, in hell. And then thirdly, Jesus said, Not even one small sparrow falls to the ground without your heavenly Father's knowledge. You are worth much more than many sparrows, so do not be afraid. Jesus is telling us, don't be afraid, because he and our heavenly Father are with us which is also what Jeremiah said in the first reading. When his enemies were trying to kill him, Jeremiah said, the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. When Jesus sent his apostles out into the world to spread his teachings and to witness to him, he knew they were going to face resistance and hardships and maybe even persecution and death. Jesus understood his apostles' fears and he took them seriously. When he said to them, do not be afraid, he was trying to calm them down and give them courage. 
He was trying to get them to move beyond their fear because he knew that their fear might prevent them from being able to carry out the mission he had given them. So he tried to reassure them by reminding them that the Father was always with them and that all they needed to do to overcome their fear was to trust in God and rely on God, who lovingly watches over even the smallest and the least of his creatures. Anything that happens to any of God's creatures, even the most insignificant of them, is seen by God and is important to him. Even the fall of a single sparrow, Jesus said. Now, if God is that concerned with birds, we can be sure that he's concerned with all of us who are his children, whom he made in his own image and likeness. Jesus assured his apostles that God knew every detail of their lives, even the number of hairs on their head, and that God cared for them and would help them with what Jesus was asking them to do. And with God's help and with God's grace, we are able to answer Jesus' call to be people who are not afraid to be followers of his out there in the world. We can't be afraid of what somebody's going to think or say because we are chaste and moral and honest, caring and sober and pro-life, and we come to Mass every week. In our lives and in our world, we have to stand up and be counted, as the saying goes. It's not good enough to be like secret disciples of Jesus in our hearts and in our homes and here in church at Mass for an hour each week. We have to give public witness to our Christian faith by the things we say and do and by how we live our lives. We can't let timidness or self-consciousness or fear of what somebody's going to think or say keep us from doing that. You know, it's normal and natural that sometimes we are going to be afraid. But as people of faith, we believe that God will give us the strength and the courage to cope with whatever comes. Faith is a great source of courage. To be a disciple of Jesus and to live a Christian life requires courage. But courage is not never being afraid. Courage is overcoming our fear and carrying on in spite of it. We need courage. Remember, courage is one of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. We should pray to the Holy Spirit to give us the courage to acknowledge Jesus and not deny him in the things we say and do and in the way we live our lives. The bottom line is there's no easy way to follow Jesus. In this world of so much doubt and confusion, violence and hatred and sin, one thing we can be sure of is that our efforts to be better disciples will be tested daily. And don't let fear get in the way. Trust. Jesus and the Father will take care of us and help us and guide us. I believe in one God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, maker maker of heaven heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us us men, men, for for our our salvation, salvation, he came came down down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became became man. For our our sake he was was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He He ascended ascended into into heaven and is seated at the the right hand hand of of the the Father. Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his his kingdom kingdom will have no end. end. I believe believe in the the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father Father and the Son Son is adored adored and glorified, glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Lord and God likes to hear from the baptized. And so, as a communion, community of the baptized, we make our common prayer in Jesus Christ, crucified and risen, to our Father in heaven for the needs of all. For the church throughout the world, especially where it suffers oppression and persecution, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations who are working to bring about peace and justice for all people and countries, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our fathers who have given us life and love, that we may show them respect and love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our fathers who are suffering physical illness or the infirmities of old age, that we be a comfort to them and Jesus ease their pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our fathers who have died and for all of our loved ones who have died, that God bring them into the joy of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for healing for all who are sick with the COVID-19 virus and for comfort and consolation for all who are mourning the loss of a loved one because of the virus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As always, we unite ourselves in prayer through Jesus crucified and risen for the faithful departed, in a special way for Francisco Cuello, for Arcides Brioso, for Dustin Coutinho, and for Felix Pedro Vilches, for these and for all the deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, Almighty Father, hear our prayer, the prayer of the communion of saints offered through Jesus Christ, our crucified and risen head. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Usually at this time, we have the weekly offertory collection. Although you cannot be here with us at this time, we ask you to please remember and consider our parish. You can mail your envelope or text OLA Giving to 73256. That's OLA Giving 73256. And we thank you for your generosity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously receive, Lord God, this sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant to us, cleansed by what we do, we may make an offering of our hearts united to Jesus, pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father in heaven, it is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty, eternal God, for, Lord God, you so loved the world that in your great mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that, Lord God, you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we lost in disobedience. And so, Father, with all the angels and the saints, we give you thanks. In exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of power, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord God, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, we pray, sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew, that they may become for us the sacred body and the precious blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed, entering willingly upon his passion and death, at the Last Supper, Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, Father, he broke it, and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the same way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and Father, once more giving you thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord God, as we celebrate this living memorial of your Son's death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord God, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks, Lord God, that you have considered us worthy to stand in your presence and to serve you. Humbly, Lord, we pray that partaking of the sacred body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church extended throughout all the earth, Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Bishop of Rome, our Holy Father Francis, the diocesan Bishop Peter, their fellow bishops, and all the clergy. Remember, Lord, our deceased brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of your Son's resurrection. 
and all who have died in your divine mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your presence. Father, have mercy upon us all, we pray, that with the Holy Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph and St. John the Baptist, with the apostles and the gospel writers, with all your martyrs and saints who pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs with them to unending life in your kingdom, praising and glorifying you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. We have united ourselves to our Lord Jesus Christ, crucified and risen. And now, with great expectation, hopefulness, and thanksgiving, we prepare ourselves to receive the food of disciples, the body and blood of the Savior in Holy Communion. And so we pray as Jesus taught the apostles. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us your peace in our day, that with the help of your divine mercy, Lord, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, awaiting the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant to us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And with your spirit. And with a reverent bow, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
I am the good shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Lord God, renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.